Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Maida? I'm fine, and you? Very well, thank you. Ready for the last week. Yes. <laughs> nice, very good. It's very nice. Yeah, that's right. It's very <laughs> nice that it's the last week, right? And it's very yeah. nice that next week is vacation, all right? <laughs> yeah. <Hey. laughs> so you have vacation okay. next. Do you have vacation next week? Only three days. But oh, but... In my case, is. Um, I don't know. <laughs> eh, se lo voy a decir en español. <laughs> no okay. mm. Este, mis vacaciones son anuales y las he pedido distribuidas y entonces mm. me van a dar los primeros tres días más los tres días de vacación, o sea que voy a tener toda la semana de vacación. Yupi. Interesting, very good. That's very <laughs> nice. Eso es muy. Y eso es, 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 es bueno. Yes, I have one week because I work in education. So I have one week exactly. Yeah. Yes. So I, I, I go on vacation on, on Friday. And this coming Friday, I go on vacation. And then I have all the week. And I, ha, I, I start classes on Tuesday. El martes empiezo on Tuesday. Ah, qué bueno. So I have a kind of long vacation. ¿Y qué se va a hacer en vacaciones? Sorry? ¿Qué se va a hacer en vacaciones? Well, uh, we're planning to go to the beach, to, to, oh. uh, to do some, yeah, to visit family. Yeah, so we have many plans. <laughs> <laughs> Qué bueno. Yeah, Oye, yeah, en mi casa right. guardada. Durmiendo, durmiendo y durmiendo. <laughs> Así como está la situación, it's better to be at home. Sí. Yeah. Mejor en la casita. That's right, totally. Hello, Marie, Majo, Elenilson, and Rafael, and Daniel. <laughs> hello, Mr. Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, Majo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Elenilson. And hello, Majo. <laughs> she was saying hello, too. Okay, so... um. I can see Javier is driving today, right, Javier? Yeah, he's driving. Hello, teacher, good night. Hello, good evening. Are you driving? Uh, yes, he's coming in my house. Ah, okay, very good. So you will uh, be in the class in a moment or in a while? Ah, okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, hello, Walter. Hello. How are you? I feel good. Nice. It's good to see you again. Yeah. So we have other people connected. Yes, right. But they are with their cameras off. All right. I won't say hello because I don't know if they are available or not. A los que están con cámara apagada normalmente no les digo hola directamente porque no sé si 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 ya están listos o no. I don't know if they are ready or not. Yeah, that's the reason. No es porque no les quiero decir hi directly. Okay, uh, so, um, well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to today's class. Uh, Monday, right? First day of the week and first day of, of class of the week, too, right? Uh, today is, uh, well, this week is the last week of module three, right? Esta semana es la última semana del módulo, de módulo tres, okay, module three. And then you go on vacation for one week, okay? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's the last week, so we have to give our best. Siempre como es la última semana, debemos dar lo, lo mejor, ¿verdad? Yo sé que siempre dan lo mejor, pero esta vez lo mejor de lo mejor, okay? You have to give the very best, okay? So uh, let me pass the attendance and we start the class, okay? Aida? Present. Claudia? Daniel? Present. Boris? Elenison? Present, teacher. Elsie? Present, teacher. Nice. Harrison? 
Irma. Irving. Present. Nice. Javier is driving, I think. Present, teacher. Yes, All right. present. Okay. Mayra. Present, teacher. Milton. Present. Nice. Rafael. Present, teacher. Santos. Present, teacher. Sara. Present, teacher. Mire, este, puedo tener la cámara apagada. Estoy con fallas en el internet. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Ulises. Present, teacher. Walter. Present. Wendy. I am here. Good. Um, let's see, Jessica. I saw Jessica connected. I bet she's connected. No. Hazel? Present teacher. Okay. Jessica, yes. I see her. Good. Mauricio? Maho? Present teacher. And Carla? Okay, that's pretty good. Excellent. Okay, uh, so uh, so I want to say uh, welcome again. Welcome to today's uh, class. Okay, I was saying the last uh, week of module three, right? Okay, so welcome everybody. Así que bienvenidos todos. Welcome everybody. So uh, we are going to start uh, the class in, well, the last week we studied unit number three, right? I remember. And the name of unit number three is, I don't remember. What is the name of unit number three? Help me, please. I don't remember really. What is the name of unit number three? Tell me, please. Or you don't remember either. Oh, communication at the workplace. That's right. It's communication at the workplace, right? And we study different things, okay? Good. And I remember we were doing the last activity, okay? Estábamos haciendo una última actividad. Uh, some suggestions for some situations, right? Algunas sugerencias para una situación. ¿Les recuerdan? You are doing some suggestions for some uh, situations, okay? So let me show you here. I remember these were the situations, okay? Uh, situation number one was, Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. So you were supposed to give suggestions using should, okay? Iban a dar sugerencias usando should or should not, okay? Uh, can you, I know we did this, but I want to, to recall this. I want to refresh this. Quiero que refresquemos esto un poquito, okay? So, Sara never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. What was the suggestion you had? ¿Cuál era la sugerencia que tenía para Sara? What was Sara's suggestion? Can you remember? ¿Pueden recordar? ¿O perdieron el libro de notas, el libro de apuntes? ¿Lo tienen ahí cerca? Do you have it close to you or not? In this part, you were supposed to give suggestions using should or should not, right? You remember that? Or should not, okay? Using should or should not. So Sara never stops chatting. What is the suggestion for Sara? She should what? Or she should not what? For example. For example? For example, she should, she should say cell phone while we have lunch, for example. Good. Uh, she should put the, self, the phone away when they have lunch. She should put the phone yeah. away when they have lunch. Very good. That's excellent. Another suggestion for Sarah? Uh, Sarah should talk on the cell phone. That's but right. I'm okay. Sarah phone. should turn off the cell phone. It's perfect. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Thank you very much. Uh, what about the second? My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. Okay. Um, a mi jefe no le gusta caminar a mi escritorio cuando necesita algo, sino que me grita. Okay. So what is the suggestion for my boss? He chose call me. That's right. He should call me. Okay. He should call me. That's right. 
uh, on the phone, right? <laughs> yes, he should call me on the phone. Very good, because could be call me like, say my name, right? Okay, but let, let's be specific in this case, all right? He should call me on the phone, all right? Good, that's excellent. Uh, any other suggestion from my boss? Otra sugerencia para mi jefe, another suggestion from my boss? She should, she, she should make work out. <laughs> Definitely, that's right, okay, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, very good. It's a joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so we can have different suggestions from my boss, right? Maybe you can say directly, he should stop screaming or shouting. He should stop shouting. Or he should go to my desk and tell me what he needs, all right? He should go to my desk and tell me what he needs, for example, okay? So we can have different suggestions from my boss. Good. Let's continue with number three. It says... Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. This is very common nowadays. So Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. What do you suggest, Jimena and Susan? They should what? They should... Yeah. What should they do? ¿Qué deberían hacer? What should they do? They should continue taking selfies <laughs> or not? Or you want to suggest something different? They should what? They shouldn't. Okay, this is, they shouldn't do it. Okay, they shouldn't do it. <laughs> I love that, I'm very direct, right? They shouldn't do it. They shouldn't take selfies, all right. Uh, Walter, do you have one? Walter, do you have one? I can see your microphone is on. Yes? Uh, Jimena and Susan. Yeah, for Jimena and Susan. Uh, I don't know, but I, I think uh, they should wait and go out work to work. No sé, ellos deberían esperar estar fuera de su trabajo. Okay, you can say they should, they should finish work first. Okay. Deberían terminar el trabajo primero. They should finish work first, you can say, all right? Okay, okay Rafael. Rafa. I think he's, yeah, he has problems with the connection. Okay, let's go to the next one. Rafa, do you have one? Uh, selfies should not be take, taken during working hours. Excellent. Selfies should Selfies not be should not be taken. Taken, taken during working hours. Excellent. So selfies should not be taken during working hours. During Excellent, Rafa. Work yeah. Hours. yeah, yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you very much. Very good. That's that's right. Okay. There should be a regulation for that, okay? Uh, debería haber una regulación para eso. There should be a regulation for that. Good. Uh, let's see for Pablo. Pablo posts the sign, not a good time in his office door. So his team does not talk to him, all right? So he's saying that he's busy or he's angry, right? Indirectly, all right? So he puts on the door, he puts the sign, not a good time his office door. So his team does not talk to him. El equipo no le habla por la, por la frase que pone en la puerta, right? Not a good time. So what do you uh, suggest, Pablo? ¿Qué le sugieren, Pablo? What do you suggest, Pablo? He shouldn't post that. That's right. He shouldn't post those phrases or that. It's correct, okay? What do you think he should do with the sign? What do you think he should do with the sign? ¿Qué, qué debería hacer con esa, con esa frase? Or with the sign, con esa señal que pone. He should what? He should, or Pablo should. 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 Re. Re. 
he should re remove he should remove the sign right he should remove the sign so more people talk to him all right good uh okay and the last one graciela always signs her emails with the emoji oh and we have the emoji here so he all he she always closes the email with this emoji all right siempre pone ese emoji para cerrar el correo so what do you think what should she do She shouldn't sign her email like this. That's right. Okay. She should not sign the emails like this with emojis, right? Or she yep. should, yeah. Daniel. Daniel, do you have one suggestion for Graciela? No. Or yes. Walter? <laughs> Uh, Graciela should avoid sending messages with emojis. Excellent. Okay, so Graciela should avoid using me sending messages with emojis. That's right. Remember, emojis are not recommended for emails, right? So Graciela should not use emojis in her emails, all right? So that's important. Uh, very good. Uh, so, um, in the end, the idea of this activity was uh, to give suggestions using should or should not, okay? La idea de esta actividad, si recuerdan, era dar sugerencias usando should or should not, or shouldn't, si quieren decir shouldn't, okay? If you want to say shouldn't, yeah? That was the idea of this activity, okay? So, um, something quickly. Emails at work should be formal or informal. What do you think? Do you think emails at work should be formal or informal? What do you think? Formal. Formal is correct. Formal emails. And for formal emails, we need, or we have some tips, right? We have some tips for writing formal emails. And the last time you sent me some tips, remember? You sent me an email, sorry, applying the tips. Y la clase anterior me mandaron un correo. Bueno, mandaron un correo allí al chat, aplicando la... Apl aplicando los tips, applying the tips, all right? Yes, good. Now, check this vocabulary. Uh, from this vocabulary, okay, let's go here. Okay, from this vocabulary, the vocabulary on the, on the right, okay? From this vocabulary on the right, what vocabulary do you think it's uh, formal or we have some salutations here and some and some closings, right? Some salutations and some closings and this vocabulary. So what do you think is formal and what do you think it's informal? For example, see you. Formal. Este closing is formal, okay? So for you, it's formal. For me, so it's informal. It's informal, all right. Yes, it's informal. So to the informal ones, we will put a cross. A los informales les vamos a poner una crucita, okay? So this is informal. Hey, is formal or informal? Informal. It's informal, exactly. So let's put a cross. What's up? Is formal or informal? Informal. It's informal, exactly. Informal. Hello, mister, or hello, miss. Is formal or informal? It's formal. formal. It's formal. formal. So let's Formal, so let's put a check. Le vamos a poner un chequecito. Dear friend, is it formal or informal? Formal. Formal, formal. exactly. It's formal. My best. My best is formal or informal? Informal. My best. is like que deseo lo mejor. My best. It's formal. It's formal. My best. Morning. Is formal or informal? Formal. Formal. No, only morning. Morning. It's informal. It's informal. informal. The, the formal one is good morning, okay? Good morning is formal. But only if you say only, hey, morning, it's informal, okay? Best regards, is it formal or informal? Formal. It's formal. It's formal, yeah, best regards. Mi mejores deseos. The abbreviation TH and X for saying thanks, is it formal or informal? Informal. 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 And the last one, is it formal or informal? Informal. Informal, all right? And I don't know what that means really, okay? I don't know that much about abbreviations, okay? 
Do you know what this means? Any idea? Besos y abrazos. <laughs> Sorry? Besos y abrazos. Besos y abrazos. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, besos y abrazos. Kisses and hugs. All right. Thank you very much for your help. Yeah, this is new for me. <laughs> I was trying to investigate and I didn't find anything. Good. Uh, so we have uh, informal see you. Hey, what's up? Morning, thanks, abbreviation, and kisses and hugs. It's informal. Formal, hello, mister, or hello, miss. Dear friend, formal, right? My best, formal, and best regards, formal. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, well, the, this is uh, what we had from the previous unit. Now let's go to today's unit, okay? So listen, please take a moment, tomen un momento, dos minutos, miran la imagen que está acá, look at the picture, y piensen en vocabulario que se les viene a la mente cuando ven la imagen, okay? ¿Qué, se les, qué vocabulario se les viene a la mente en inglés, en English, when, when you look at this picture? Tomen dos minutos y si quieren escriban el vocabulario, okay? Y me da un espacio porque necesito buscar el cargador de la compu. Se me está descargando. Okay, please. Yeah. Two minutes and check for, for the words that come to your mind. Okay. Dos minutos y escriben las palabras que se les vienen a la mente cuando ven esta imagen. Palabras, frases u oraciones. Okay. Word, phrases or sentences. Uh, so tell me, uh, what vocabulary comes into your mind when you look at this picture? ¿Qué vocabulario se le viene a la mente cuando miran la imagen? What comes to your mind? Travel. Sorry? Travel. 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 Okay. Travel. Excellent. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Travel. Uh, Airplane turbine. Sorry? Airplane to be turbine. <laughs> oh, airplane, airplane turbine is correct. Okay. Excellent. What else? Budget. Business. Uh, business, budget. Budget, right, Milton? Budget, say budget, airport. That's right. Airport. airport. Okay, what else? Flying. Plane. Plane, plane. Exactly. What else? Go to the meeting. Go to a meeting, maybe. Yes, go to suitcase. a center. So, weekends? Suitcase. Ah, suitcase. Suitcase is correct. What else? Formal. Formal, formality. That's right. What else? Sobrecargo, o no sé cómo se dice. Sorry? <laughs> sobrecargo, lo que van ahí en los. En, well, sobrecargo en el avión. Ok, that, that is too much. Entendé. That is too much. You, you mean that is too much, like the, the, what they're carrying? Or what do you mean? No, flight attendants. Flights, ah, okay. flight attendants. Ah, flight attendants, all right. Flight attendants, what else? Uh, board the plane. That's right. Okay. Uh, boarding a plane. Yes. What else? Passenger. Pa that's right. Passengers. 
hold the line. That's right. What else? I need to take a flight by night. <laughs> you need, they need to take a flight. I need to take a flight today. <laughs> I need to go on vacation today. <laughs> yeah, All right. right now. <laughs> right now. Okay, so uh, so we can come up uh, with a lot of uh, with a lot of vocabulary, right? Se nos puede venir mucho vocabulario. We have we can come up with a lot of new vocabulary. Okay. Thank you very much. Another picture. Now look at this picture. What comes into your mind? Take two minutes and take notes if you want. Tomen otros dos minutos. Take other two minutes. And write the vocabulary that comes to your mind. Okay? The same. Escriben el vocabulario si quieren que se les viene a la mente. Don't tell me now. No me digan. Take two minutes, all right? Take two minutes. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello. You're welcome. Hello. Excuse me. Eh, ya de un ratito llego a la casa y me conecto bien. It's okay, it's okay. Tengo problemas de red. Yeah, it's okay. No, te escucho. It's okay, Irma, it's okay. Okay, now please everyone. Uh, so tell me what comes into your mind when you look at this picture? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente? What comes into your mind? Vacation. Vacation? What else? Travels. Travel again. Holidays. Holidays, yeah. Future plans. Future plans, that's right. Future plans. Tickets. Tickets, yeah. Or flights. Customs. Yeah, that's right. Customs or culture. What else? Check in. Check in, check out. Yeah, what else? Suitcase. Suitcases again, suitcases. Okay, the suitcases here. What else? London. Expenses. <laughs> uh, sorry, Ellen Nielsen. Sorry, is Ellen Nielsen first? London. Sorry? Landed. Oh, okay, like landing. Okay, the plane is landing. Okay, very good. Landing, maybe taking off. What else? Expenses. Uh, expenses, yeah, definitely. A lot of expenses, right? Yeah, Ulysses? You want to say one? Passport. Passport, yeah, passport. Okay, very good. So ma many things come into our minds, right? Now, I, now I ask you, uh, based uh, on the two pictures, okay, based on the two pictures, uh, what is the name of unit number four? Have you checked? What is the name Travel of unit number plan. four? Travel plan. Oh, exactly. So the name of unit four and the last unit of module three, it's travel plans. So now I ask you, do you have travel plans for vacation? Or no travel plans? No money. No money. Yes. <laughs> don't have money. So there's no money. Javier? Working. <laughs> you have to work. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> and the others? Does anybody have travel plans? Who has travel plans for vacation? nobody oh my goodness okay very good um now another question do you have travel plans for this year for this year not for vacation for this year do you have travel plans 
Nobody has travel plans for this year. Nobody? No. No. Only work. This, Only work. This oh year. my goodness. Come on, come on, you have to travel. <laughs> no vacation. <laughs> no vacation for you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No. Okay. Um, so the, the name of unit number two is travel plans. Okay, travel plans. Planes de viaje, travel plans. Very good. Now we have a little discussion, okay? And we have some questions, okay? And in these questions we have, okay, let's talk about hotels. In these questions we have, let me show you here. The question is, do you usually go on business trips? Business trips, right? You can say, yes, I do or no, I don't, okay? Do you usually go on business trips? For example, business trips to to another department, to another state, okay? A otro departamento, tal vez, okay? To another company or I don't know, anywhere. So do you usually, or to another country, I don't know. Do you usually go on business trips? Yes, I do, no, I don't. Next question. What are three hotel services if you stay in a hotel? Wake up call, business center, laundry, etc. you often use? When you go on business trips, right? Cuando van algún trip de negocios, okay? Um, ¿Cuáles son los servicios de hotel que normalmente usan? Wake up call, all right? That is like llamado de, para, para despertarse de alarma. Business center, centro de negocios, laundry, lavandería. And we have others. I don't know, you, maybe you can mention others like, but I could say, for example, um, car rental or chattel service, okay, that is like transportation or maybe doctor, dry cleaning or catering, I don't know, all right, yeah. So please take a moment and answer the two questions. Take a moment and answer the two questions. If you ask me, Bernardo, do you usually go on business trips? And I say, I say, no, I don't because I don't work on, I mean, I work for the public sector, okay? No, I don't because I work for the public sector. What are free hotel services you often use? Well, when I go on vacation, uh, I normally use uh, laundry, sometimes maybe gym, all right? The gym service. But that's when I go on vacation, once in a while, una vez al tiempo, once in a while. The two questions are connected, right? So if you go on business trips, so you need to mention when you stay in a hotel, you need to mention the services you use at the hotel, okay? Yeah, so the two questions are connected. Or you can say, for example, imagine you go on business trips, but no hotels, okay? You can say, do you usually go on business trips? Yes, I do. Uh, what are three hotel services that you use? Maybe you can say, I don't use hotel services. I stay in a friend's house, I don't know. Or I go on business trips for one day, okay? So you don't need hotels. Pero si se quedan en hoteles, if you stay at hotels, mention the services you use, okay?
Are you ready? Uh, this EEG means, for example, right? On this line, EEG is, for example, esa letra I, letra G, quieren decir, por ejemplo, for example, okay? EEG, for example, all right? Good, so are you ready? Yes, okay, so question number one is, do you usually go on business trips? Do you usually go on business trips? Business, all right? Question number two. What are three hotel services? For example, wake up call, business center, laundry, etc. you often use? What are three hotel services? For example, wake up call, business center, laundry, etc. you often use? All right? So these questions are on page number 39. Las preguntas se salen en la página 39. The questions are on page 39. Okay, so we will take a moment and in, in big groups, we will make big groups, okay? In big groups, discuss the two questions, okay? So take turns to share, to ask and share, okay? Toman turnos para preguntar y responder. Take turns to ask and, and share. So we will make only three groups in the class, all right? So you will have big groups. So make sure everybody has the opportunity to share. Asegúrense que todos tengan la oportunidad de compartir, okay? Make sure everyone has the opportunity to share, okay? Any question? No? No questions? Okay, let's go and practice. Wendy, hello, va a participar en la actividad. Sí, yes, teacher, se me había trabado el teléfono y no logré meterme. Y no le aparece ya la, la notificación. No, no, ya no. ¿De qué equipo no. es? No, no, como se me había trabado, ah, no sé. So you are in team one. I will send you to team two and then I will send you to team one again, okay? okay? Pero aquí no se va. Aquí no se vale, pueden comenzar ellos. Vaya, se vale. Sí. El Enilson, comienza. Ah, está bien, entonces hagamos algo. Yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, yo le pregunto a Daniel, Daniel a Javier, Javier a, 
Santos. Y de ahí eh, Santos le pregunta a una dama y ya continúa. Okay. O no, Santos. Sí, no, está bien. Tendría que ser Santos. Ok. Siga. Ok. Ok. Vaya, Daniel. Yes. Do you usually go on business trip? No, I don't. Okay. And then this is that's it, right? <laughs> Eso es todo, yeah. Sí. No, pero que diga por qué. Ah. <laughs> Why? Because. <laughs> Why? Um, because because my I don't like I don't like hotels. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Okay. Entonces a, a Javier. Okay. Javier. Do you usually go on business street? Yes, I do. What are three? The 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 beach house. Um, the only annual. Holidays and coverings, even with your chest. Okay. Orchestra. How much? Orchestra. 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 Uh, orchestra. orchestra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Continue. Daniel, uh, Javier, uh, uh, Santos. Okay, Santos. Santos, do you usually go on business trip? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Why? Por qué? Why? Why? Because I, my word is no. Um, because because I. I know it's, it's necessary and only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Santos, uh, Aida, no sé si está por ahí. Aida, Mayra. Oh, sí, Aida. Aida la Aida. Aida no está aquí, la niña Mayra y la niña Elsie están aquí. No está inventando. No, oh, está Aida Mayra. también. Sí, Ey, va pues a ver. Ya, ya vi que no. No es que tengo problemas con el Inter, por eso no tengo la cama. Pero sí, dígame. Se enojado, se enojado el Inter. Ah, okay. Así. No he cenado. Qué bárbara. ¿Qué era la pregunta a mí, María José? Ok, este, Ulises, ¿verdad? Yes. Do you usually go on, go on business trip? Yes, I do. What are three hotel service? You often yes. use? Yes, I usually use the gym. The buffet and rent the car. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Okay. Rachel. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? No, porque no hacen falta. Ah, falta so. que conteste Dori. Sí, pero si quiere preguntar usted, Tichera, a, a Richard. 
Sorry. Pregúntele usted. Ah, I can ask Doris. Yes. Teacher Ulises no me quiere. <laughs> no me equipo. I, I can see he, he, likes, he likes joking with you. <laughs> he likes bothering you. Le gusta molestarte, Doris. He likes bothering you. Yo creo que de eso pide él, Hasta se congeló en el internet de él. Se le fue el inter, creo. He has no connection. Por malo se le quedó la conexión. Oíla, oíla. Me conecté tarde, teacher, aquí al equipo. Que recibí una llamada. Ah, ok, ahí sí. It's ok. So the, the no, others no, no. you practice already. Los demás ya practicaron. The others, did you practice? Yes. Yes. yes teacher. Okay, that's perfect. So let me visit another group, okay? And then when when uh, Raquel finishes, you ask her, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Hello, so guys. Did you finish? Uh, I believe it. All right. So this group was really small. It was the smallest group. The problem is that I sent like three more people to this group and they didn't come to the group. They didn't participate in the activity. So that's the reason why this group is very small. Okay? Got it. All right. Let's go to the main session. Yeah, well, nosotros en el, en el hotel solo usábamos La piscina como tres veces la usamos y prácticamente desayunábamos y dormíamos ahí, pero no usábamos lavandería, no usábamos eh, ¿qué? el bar, tampoco okay, podíamos No bar, no laundry. No, nada así. Uh, en car, en, en charter service or car rental? No. No, no, no. I, 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 am, the, I am working by my, my, my work. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I have service for the the people. The oh, I, I you 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 drive right? So you so you are yeah, the I am driver. I am, service I am, I am, I am yeah, sleep in, in in hotel for one week. Oh, because okay. Uh, well. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to practice. Okay, thank you. Uh, so let's see, according to what your classmates shared, uh, does anybody here, okay? Does anybody here in the class go on business trips? Who goes on business trips here in the class? Nobody? Now you can tell me because who Mayra? Yes. Mayra I goes on ah Mayra goes on business trips. Okay, excellent. So let's ask Mayra. Mayra, do you usually go on business trips? Yes, I do. Okay. What are three services um you often use? I use a uh, laundry, a uh, wake up call, a uh, room service. A uh, swimming pool. <laughs> that's very important. <laughs> yeah. Only that. Only that. Okay, that's very good. That's excellent. So you use swimming pool service too. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you very much. Who else goes on business trips? Quien más va a bar a trips de negocios? Who else goes on business trips? Me coach. Who? Yes. Milton. Yeah. Okay, Milton, uh, do you usually go on business trips? Uh, yes, I do. I usually go to the business trip. Okay, that's excellent. So what are three services, hotel services, uh, you often use? Super important, the bar, discotheque, and buffet food. <laughs> that's right. Time to relax. That's right. Uh, so you were. The bar and the, uh, and, uh, the, and, the and you were. And you were. That's right. Okay, you so. Were, yeah. So instead because, of channel service, you use Uber, Uber, right? Yeah, because uh, 
I enjoy met different cities in another countries. Okay, that's excellent. So during the day you are in meetings and at night you go out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. So if we have the time, we have to do it. Okay, thank you, Milton. Uh, Ulysses, I think. Ulysses, uh, so do you have business trips? Yes, I do. All right. So uh, what are three hotel services you often use? I usually use the buffet and the gym and the rent a car. And the rent and the car rental. Very good. So you say, uh, oh, thank you very much, Ulysses. Uh, by the way, the pronunciation for buffet is buffet, okay? Buffet, oh. with A at the end, buffet, okay? Buffet, thanks, buffet. Thanks. All right, no problem. It's, it's not only for you, but for everybody, okay? Buffet, okay? That's the pronunciation for that. Okay, uh, very good. One more person who goes on business trips? One more who goes on business trips? Walter. Okay. Yes, okay, Walter, uh, do you usually go on business trips? Yes, I usually go in business trip. What are three hotel services uh, you often use? I often use gyms, souvenir shop, uh, swimming pools, and cultural events. That's excellent. I like the last one, cultural events and the souvenir shop too, right? The souvenir shop. That's important to bring some souvenirs for friends, right? For coworkers or family. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, participation. I'm sorry for the ones who don't go on business trips. Lo siento por los que no van a trips de negocios. I'm sorry about, about you. And I'm sorry about myself because I don't go on business trips either, okay? I'm sorry about myself too. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. And now let's go to the next activity. Um, I want you to take a moment and on page number 39, you have this conversation, okay? Uh, this conversation is between an agent and Rosa, okay? Who is reserving a hotel, yeah? Take two minutes, read the conversation, and after, I will ask you some questions, okay? So take a moment and read the conversation. And in two minutes, I will ask you some questions. Teacher, excuse me. Buffet no es así ya en inglés. Buffet no es. Ah, the, the, yeah, it's, it's the same, but the pronunciation is not buffet. It's no buffet. 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 Uh, buffet. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. So what, what I'm saying about the word bu buffet is that we don't say buffet in English, okay? In Spanish, we say buffet, con te al final, buffet. But in English, the last sound, el último sonido es a, buffet, okay? Buffet, yeah? That's what I'm saying, what I'm trying to, to tell you.
Okay. Uh, I have some questions for you. Uh, so please, if you have the answer for my question, raise your hand. Go to reactions and raise your hand. Okay, please. Let me repeat. In case you have the response for my questions, go to reactions and raise your hand before you participate, okay? Antes de participar, vayan a levantar la mano. Go and raise your hand before you participate. Okay, question number one. In what time of the day is the conversation happening? In what time of the day is the conversation happening? Ulysses, raise hands first. Ulysses? Uh, in March? No, listen, listen to the question. In what time of the day, of the day, not of the year, of the day, in what time of the day is the conversation happening, okay? Ellen Nielsen? It's in the morning. That's right. So the time of the day is in the morning. So the conversation is happening in the morning. That's right, okay, we have it here, look. Rosa says, good morning. So the time of the day is in the morning, right? Okay, thank you, Ellen Nielsen, and thank you, Ulysses. Question number two. Uh, what's the name of the agency? What's the name of the agency? Mayra, what's the name of the agency, Mayra? Microphone. Excuse me. It's okay. Mark's, Mark's Travel Agency. Mark's Travel Agency. That's the name of the agency. Okay, thank you very much, Mayra. Last question for you. The last question for you is, um, Gwen, listen very well. Gwen, is Rosa traveling to Costa Rica? Gwen, is Rosa traveling to Costa Rica? Okay, Ulysses. April 14th. That's right, it's on April 14th. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you very much, Ulysses, and thank you for your participations, okay? Okay. So before we go to the next activity, I will pass the attendance quickly, okay? So let me pass the attendance and then we go to the next activity. Aida? Present. Claudia? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Ellen Eason? Present, teacher. Okay, that's very nice. Elsie? Present, teacher. Herson, Irma. I am here, teacher. Okay, Irving. Present. Javier. I am here, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, Mayra. Present, teacher. Milton. Present. All right, Rafael. I am here, teacher. Santos. Present, teacher. Sara. Present, teacher. Ulises. Present, teacher. Walter. Present. Wendy. Wendy, she, she was having connection problems, I think. Okay. Um, Jessica. I am here, teacher. All right. Hazel? Present, teacher. Very good. Maur uh, Mauricio? Present, teacher. All right. Maho? Present, teacher. And Carla? Present. Yeah, bye. All right. Oh, my goodness. Only one person is missing. Very good. Okay. Uh, that's excellent. Okay. Now let's go to the next activity, okay? In the same conversation, um, in the, the, the conversation uh, you checked, okay? Now tell me, uh, do you have a new vocabulary in the conversation? In case you have new vocabulary, tell me the vocabulary, please. Do we have new vocabulary in the conversation? So tell me and we check together. Shuttle service. Sorry? Shuttle service. 
shuttle service. Oh, shuttle service, all right. Shuttle oh. service. Okay, uh, very good. What else? Any other new vocabulary you have? Of course. Sorry? Of course. Where is it? Um, Rosa. Of course. Of, of course. Of course. Ah, of course. Ah, uh -huh. I got it. Of course. This one, right? Okay, let me underline it. Of course. Okay, what else? Come on. What else? Only that? Solo eso? Donde en la última parrafa te hicieron de dice, are you going to need the, como se pronuncia esa palabra? Are you going to need the shuttle service? Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Yes. Esa palabra, shuttle. Okay, shuttle. All right. Yes, we have it here. We have it underlined. So that's it. Eso es todo. That's it. No more new vocabulary? My, I have. Sorry? My, I have. May I have? May Where I is? have. Let me see. Oh, may I have. That's right. Okay. May I have your name, please? This one, right? Good. Okay, let's check. How long, maybe? How long is like how much time, right? Good. Let's check. So, may I have your name is like, Puedo tener tu nombre, but it's too literal. Could be maybe, puedes darme tu nombre. O podría darme tu nombre. May I have your name, please? It's a formal way to ask for something, okay? Es una manera formal de pedir algo. May I have, okay? May I have your name, please? May I have your phone number, please? May I have your address, please? May I have your email, please? All right, so it's a formal way to ask for something. Of course is, por supuesto, of course, all right? Of course. It's like, sure, it's the same, right? Of course and sure are the same. How long is like, how long are you going to stay? How much time, all right? Cuanto tiempo, how much time, how long? Shuttle service is transportation service from the hotel to different places, okay? Shuttle service. I guess, um, I don't know if it's correct, but I think Elenilson, Javier, they give shuttle service, right? Or am I mistaken? Yes. Yes. No, yes. No. yes. yes. They, they give yes, shuttle yes. service to, to people right. from other countries. Okay. Good. So shuttle service is servicio de transporte. Shuttle service. All right. Good. Uh, so this is a new vocabulary. Okay. And the pronunciation for this is shuttle. Shuttle. Shuttle service. All right. Shuttle service. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Any question? Tell me. Uh... Toda la frase, are you going to stay, significa vas a estar, te vas a quedar. Are you going okay. to stay? Are you going to stay? Te vas a quedar. Ok. Ah, porque no es traducido literalmente, sino que... En smoking. You mean in smoking. No, no eh, la palabra, are you going to stay, o sea, es toda la frase, o sea... No se traduce palabra por palabra, sino que es toda la frase, ¿no? That's right, that's right. It's correct. Yeah. So, are you going to say, it's like, te vas a quedar en, en una, en un, que un cuarto de smoking o non smoking? I don't know how to say that in Spanish, really. I have the idea, but I don't know how to say it in Spanish. It's like, smoking is like, uh, I mean, you, you have the option to, to have a cigarette, okay? But non-smoking is an area where you can have cigarettes, okay? So that's, that, that's the, the idea of smoking and non-smoking, all right? Okay. Okay. Now, listen to the pronunciation carefully. Let's start. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Rosa, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Listen again. 
Marx Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the chattel service? Yes, please. So in this context, the chattel service is transportation to go to the airport to pick her up, all right? That is chattel service in this situation, in this specific context. Very good. Two things, dos cosas, in pairs, en parejas, you will take like three or four minutes to practice the conversation, okay? But please use your names, use your names. For example, if I practice with Javier, I say, um, Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning, will, Javier will say, right? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, I say, right? May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Javier Cortez. So use your information, please, okay? Use your information to practice. Second thing, segunda cosa. When you finish practicing three or four minutes, take two minutes and check true or false for these sentences, okay? Check true or false for these sentences on page number 39, okay? So leen la conversación también y contestan verdadero o falso, true or false, according to the conversation, okay? According to the conversation. Page number 39, página número 39. Number one, three or four minutes, practice the conversation. Two more minutes, check true or false for the sentences, okay? So I will give you around seven minutes for this. Le voy a dar alrededor de siete minutos para esto, okay? So distribute the time very well, please. Any question? Any question? No. No Teacher, puede poner la, las dos pantallas que no las, no las copié. Ah, no tiene el material todavía, Rafa. Es que estoy trabajando y no me traigo el material. I'm ah, sorry. Okay. okay, it's okay. En digital no lo tienes, no. O sea, lo tengo, le tomé captura, pero se me borró. Ah, okay. <laughs> so make a screenshot if you want. Ready? Ready, Rafa? Oh, somebody sending the screenshot there. Okay, thank you very much. So here you have this true or false sentences, okay? Okay, enough time to make the screenshot. Si alguien hizo la captura, yo la comparte al grupo de WhatsApp. Share it on the WhatsApp group, please, okay? Thank you very much. So let's go and practice in pairs then. If you have no pair, ask for help. Si no tienen ayuda, me, si no tienen pareja, me piden ayuda. Okay, if you have no pair, ask for help. Okay, let's go and practice in pairs. Page Irving va a participar en la actividad. Mauricio eh, va a participar en la actividad. Sí, pero me regresó había entrado en un grupo. Okay, let me see. I don't know what happened. Let me check here. Ok, te enviaré a otro equipo entonces ahorita. ¿Hay alguien que está solo, dice? Ok, gracias. Ok, no problem.
Ajá, uh -huh, yo creo que okay. sí. Walter's okay. Travel Agency, how can I help you? Uh, good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Walter Estrada. Thank you, Mr. Estrada. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? No, no smoking, please. Are you going to need the short service? Yes, please. Okay. Creo que la agencia no es Walter, ¿verdad? Porque es que yo doy mi nombre. Ajá. Es como el nombre de la agencia, Mark's Travel Agency. Y solo es un agente de servicio, creo. Okay. Mark's Travel Agency. Cuando dice que es, 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 es una, una gráfica y cómo la voy a subir ahí. Hello. Hello. Uh, ¿Leemos otra vez o contestamos las preguntas? Leamos la última. Ok, comienzo otra vez. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Hazel Renderos. Thank you, Ms. Renderos. How long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? Non-smoking room. Non-smoking, please. Going to need the shower service? Yes, please. Ahora comienzo. Ahora comienzo usted, no. Vaya, okay. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am, I am Walter Estrada. Thank you, Mr. Estrada. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay two days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay. ¿En qué página estaba esa conversación? En la página... 39. 39. 39. Thanks. Thanks. All right, no problem. Okay. Save the assignments below. A ver, qué, a ver qué nos dice ya el teacher cuando comparemos con los compañeros pero, pero por el momento digamos serían dos falsos y dos verdaderos ajá entonces si gusta seguimos practicando Mientras... Aunque dice que sí, 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 pensándolo bien, no renta carro, solo pide viaje. Ah, ajá, y es que aquí dice de rentar, ¿verdad? Ajá, y dice rentar carro. Rosa va a alquilar un coche en el aeropuerto. Ajá, ah, pues no, porque si se lo mandan, o sea, si lo pide ella en la misma agencia de viaje, no tendría por qué. Renta. Ah, pues sí, entonces sí tienes razón. Eso sería falso. Sí. Así vaya. Entonces sí, ya nos quedan ahí tres falsos. Tres falsos. Ajá. Vaya. Ah, pues si quiere, practicamos mientras se llega. Seguimos practicando. Bueno, comienzo como comienzo. Ok. Mark's Travel Agency. How can you help? Mm -hmm. 
Ah, no, pero... Honke, honke, I'll help you. Pero no, no es tan difícil. Vaya. Vaya, empecemos. Ya contestamos okay. las últimas, ¿verdad? Sí. Practiquemos nuevamente. Ok. Y es a usted otra vez. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation. Rosa needs a double drum. Is false. Eh, Rosa sería, dice. Mm, Rosa. Rosa needs a double drum. Double, uh -huh. double drum. False. It's false. I sería false. Rosa is going to stay four days. En la segunda igual. And the second is you. You. Es cierto, porque sí se va, sí pide yes. esta día de tres días. Ajá. Entonces sería yes. True. Oh, no. True. True. Y en la otra, este, dijo en la primera. La primera es false. False. En la segunda, ajá, tercera dice Rosa is going to study in a smoking room. Es true. It's false. False. Uh, is going to study in a smoking room y ahí arriba dice que no. Uh -huh. Rosa is going to rent a car uh, at the I4. Or is false. Que ya piden sure el service, que es el servicio de transporte, más no rentar un carro para trasladar. O al menos así lo interpretamos con María José. Ajá. Ah, vaya, nos dio el, el avala y el teacher. <risa> Correcto. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, everyone. Uh, well, first, um, be before you share, because you will perform uh, the conversation for the class, okay? So before uh, you perform or act out the conversation for the class, let's check the sentences, okay? So let's see. So sentence, let me, let, me, let me see if I have the sentences here. Well, sentence number one is, Rosa needs a double room. Rosa needs a double room. That's true or false? It's false. It's false. false. It's false. It's false. It's false. What does she need? What does Rosa need? Single room. She single room. Single room. She needs a single room, exactly. She needs a single room. Number two, Rosa is going to stay for three days. True or false? True. 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 Yes, it's true. It's true. It's correct. It's true. true. Yeah, it's true. Number three, Rosa is going to stay in a smoking room. True or false? False. 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 That's right. Uh, in what room is she going to stay? In what room? No. No. Smoking. Ah, in a no, no smoking room. room. Room, exactly. Room. In a non-smoking room. You say room, okay? Room. Number four. Rosa is going to rent a car at point? the airport. True or false? False. 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 What is Rosa going to do? The charity. Ah, exactly. She says that she needs shuttle service. She doesn't need to rent a car. No, she needs travel service or transportation service. Okay, thank you very much. That was really good. So now we are going to listen to some pairs. I want to listen to five or six pairs, okay? So volunteers to perform the conversation? Volunteers for the conversation? Me. All right, who said me? Water, okay, water, I think. Who is your partner, Walter? I, 
Ah, me cuesta. I'm Hazel. Prenderos, prenderos, Hazel. Ok, Hazel. So, Hazel, en Guadalajara. Ok, we listen to you. Who is okay. that? Ok. You decide. Ok, I start. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Walter Estrada. Thank you, Mr. Estrada. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need to shuttle service? Yes, please. Good, great pronunciation. Thank you very much. Uh, do we have more volunteers? Volunteers? Me teacher. All right, Majo. Who is your partner, Majo? Uh, Doris. Okay, Doris Raquel. Okay. Doris Raquel is your partner. Okay, Doris and Majo. Okay, go ahead. Digo yo que ella era, no me recuerdo. Yes, she's, <laughs> she's saying she is the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Comienza bien. O comienza bien. Okay. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for us. Single room. I need to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Maria Panameño. Thank you, Miss Panameño. How long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the sugar service? Yes, please. Excellent. That's very good. Thank you very much, Doris and Maho. Thank you for your participation. That was good. Uh, now let's listen to Irma. She's raising hands. Irma, who is your fair? My pay, Elenilson. Okay, go ahead. You start in my. Okay. Um, Mr. Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Elenilson Aparicio. Thank you, Mr. Aparicio. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shadow service? Yes, please. Great. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Thank you. All right. Um, now let's listen to one more, uh, well, two more pairs. I, we have opportunity for two more pairs. So who is the next, what is the next pair? All right, Rafael. Rafael, who is your partner? Microphone. Microphone, Rafa. Eh, Ramos, no me acuerdo qué hemos. Solo sé que se ha pedido Ramos. Who is Rafa's partner for this activity? No remember the name. ¿Quién estaba Rafa. conmigo? Mauricio, no. Mauricio. <laughs> is it Mauricio? <laughs> Ramos, <laughs> is Hernández. Hernández, Hernández. Yes, okay. Sorry. Yeah, Mauricio and Rafa. Go ahead. Adelante. Yes. Comienzo yo. Perfect. Mars, Mars Travel Agency. Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. 
I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Mauricio Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. How long are you going to stay? Uh, I'm going to stay. I I'm going I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the chartered service? Yes, please. Finish, teacher. Hey, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, now let's listen to the last pair. Thank you for your participation. Great pronunciation. Thank you very much. Uh, Mayra, I think. Mayra is raising, was raising hands. Yes, Mayra? <laughs> yes, right? Yes, teacher. I saw you, all right. Who is your pair? Uh, Daniel. All right, Daniel, are you ready? <clears throat> Daniel. Yes, teacher. All right, let's listen to Daniel and Mayra. <laughs> Comienzo. Sí. Mars Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Mayra Menjivar. Thank you, Mr. Menjivar. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the short service? Yes, please. Okay, thank you very much. Great pronunciation. Thank you very much, uh, Mayra and company and Daniel. Okay, uh, ju just maybe for, for everybody, right? Not only for the people who participated. For everybody, in English, agencia is agency, all right? Agency, 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 all right? Agency, travel agency, yeah? And por supuesto is of course, of course, of course, of course. Abril is not April, it's April, April, okay? April, 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 yeah? Okay, basically that. Okay, well, thank you very much for your uh, participation. Okay, for the pairs. Let's give them a reaction, please. Le damos una reacción a los que participaron. Give a reaction to the people who participated. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Good. So let's go to the next activity. Okay, just let me um, check something quickly here. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go to the next activity. Uh, in the next activity, we have some uh, services, okay? In the next activity, we have around eight services, I guess, all right? So it's on page number 40, okay? In case we have the manual. So we have different services here. For example, we have shuttle service, single room, which is an amenity. Oh, before I go here, I almost forgot, antes de olvidarlo. Here you have a little chart that is very important. Por aquí tiene un cuadrito que es muy importante. You have a little chart that is very important, okay? The difference between accommodation and amenities, right? Accommodation and amenities. Now, accommodation is a place. This is very important, okay? A place such as a room in a hotel, for example, okay? Where travelers can sleep and find other services. So it's very general. Accommodation is somehow general, okay? So it's a place such as room in a hotel where travelers can sleep and find other services. Amenities, what is amenities? Amenities is the features of the hotel that are available for guests to use. These are like the services, okay? Or the features of the hotel, for example, gym, pool, minibar, jacuzzi, wake up call, 
All right. So this is basically the features of the hotel. Okay, good. Now let's move on. So this is just in general, accommodation and amenities, okay? So accommodation is more general and amenities are more specific, okay? Now, here we have some services, hotel services and amenities. Number one, shuttle service. What is shuttle service? Help me, please. What is shuttle service? Servicio de transporte. Transporte. That's excellent. It's transportation service. That's right. Okay, transporte, transportation. Single room. What is the difference between single room and double room? Um, the number of beds. Oh, the tamaño. Oh, the size and the number of people for the room. Single room is for how many people? One or two? One. One. It's one. for one person. And one double person. room is for? Double. It's, do it's double, right? So it's for two people commonly. Very good. Wake up call. What is this? Wake up call. Sorry? Despertador. Que wake up? Llamada de despertar. Llamada de despertar. That's right. It's a call to wake you up. That's right. It's a call to wake you up. Imagine, imagine you don't, you don't want to set the alarm on your cell phone. So you only tell the people to, me, to, to, to make you a call to wake you up, all right? So they call you to say, hey, it's time, all right? And it's time to wake up, okay? So that is a wake up call, okay? It's a service. Wi-Fi internet, it's easy, right? So um, business center, what is business center? Centro de negocios. Centro de negocios, right? So, centro de negocios, that's right. So, it's an amenity, okay? Uh, fridge in the room. Refrigerador en el cuarto. That's right. Refrigerador en el cuarto. Safe. Como caja fuerte. La caja fuerte o caja de seguridad. That's right. To, to, to save important things, right? Para guardar cosas importantes. So, the safe. You can say the safe. And the last one. Laundry service. What is laundry service? Lavandería. Servicio de lavandería. Lavandería, exactly. So please, let's take a moment and let's pronounce the vocabulary, but with the microphone up. Vamos a pronunciar, pero con el micrófono apagado. With the microphone up, okay? So let's begin. Empecemos. So please repeat after me. Tres veces cada, cada frase. Three times each phrase, okay? Let's repeat. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Shuttle service, single room, single room, single room, wake up call, wake up call, wake up call, Wi Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet. Don't say Wi-Fi, okay? It's Wi-Fi, all right? Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi internet, all right? Some people say Wi-Fi and it's Wi-Fi, all right? Let's continue. Business center. You don't pronounce the letter T is mute, okay? La letra T es muda. Business center. Business center. Fridge in the room. Fridge in the room. Fridge in the room. Safe. 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 Laundry service. Laundry service. Laundry service. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, individually, individually, not in groups, this time individually, okay? Individually, 
put the phrases under the pictures, okay? For example, number one, what phrase is correct for number one? <clears throat> Seven. Sorry? For number one, wake what? Up up call. Call. Seven. Uh, wake, wake up, up call. call. Wake up call, that's very good. Now continue with the others, okay? Experience number one in the answer, number two in the answer, number three in the answer, okay? So you can do it on your notebooks. Pueden hacerlo en su cuaderno. You can do it on your notebook if you have one. And we share in two or three minutes. <clears throat> Les había dado eh, la distribución para la sesión uno a uno de esta semana, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No. 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 All right. Let me give it to you before I forget. Ahorita se la voy a dar. Let me give it to you. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I don't find it. Oh, here I have it. Okay. Um, four, five. For today, we have Ulysses, okay? For today, we have Ulysses in the one on one session. For tomorrow, okay. we have Walter. For Wednesday, we have Wendy. Uh, for Thursday, uh, we have Williams, but Williams, in this, he didn't show up. He never showed up. And for Friday, we have Jessica, okay? For the end of Jessica. So for today, Ulysses, for tomorrow, Walter, for Wednesday, Wendy, and for yeah. Friday, Jessica, okay? So that's the distribution for the one-on-one -on -one session.
Okay, are you ready to turn? Yes. Yes. It's not, it's not so complicated, right? I guess everybody's ready. Okay, number one, we said is wake up call, right? So number wake one up. is wake up call, we said, right? Let's see, uh, Hazel, can you turn number two, please? For picture number two, Hazel? Laundry service. Laundry service is excellent. So for number one, wake up call. For number two, laundry service. Excellent, thank you, Hazel. Uh, let's see, Irma, number three, Fridge, fridge, fridge in the room. Fridge in the room, exactly. It's correct. It's fridge in the room. Fridge, okay, so for number three, fridge, fridge in the room. in the room. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, Wendy, number four. Uh, business center. Business center is correct. Business center is correct. Wendy, thank you very much. Elsie, number five. Yeah. Eh, serían, um, safe. The safe. That's right. It's correct, Elsie. Safe is number five. Safe. Okay. okay. Uh, Santos, number six. Single, single room. Single room is correct. Single, single room. room. Okay. Single room is excellent, Santos. Uh, let's see, Maho, number seven. Maho, do you have number seven? Okay, let's give it to Jessica. Jessica, number seven. Carla, do you have number seven? Ma, uh, Claudia, do you have number seven, Claudia? Esa no <laughs> Es la única que no es. All right. Mauricio, do you have number seven? No, right. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Tell me, Carla. No recuerdo cómo se pronunciaba. Shuttle service. Sorry? Shuttle. Shuttle service. Shuttle service is correct. Shuttle service. Okay. Thank you very much. Shuttle service. And Aida, the last one, number eight. Wi-Fi internet. Sorry? Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet is correct. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go to one of the last activities for today. Thank you very much. Okay, now listen. Simple. Individually, individualmente, individually, write a, write a checklist here, one, two, three, four, five. Write a checklist about five services or amenities you need for your next trip, okay? Five services or amenities you need for the next trip. It doesn't matter if it's a business or a personal trip, all right? Could be a business or a personal trip. Para que lo hagan todos, everybody does it, all right? Because I know not everybody has business trips here. So it can be a personal trip or a family trip if you want, okay? So write a checklist about the services. For example, a shuttle service, you can say. Okay, you put the check, right? Uh, or you could say Wi-Fi internet, okay? So write five things you need, please, okay? Cinco servicios or amenities you need for the next trip, okay? So take a moment and do it, please, individually, okay?
Are you ready? Well, while you finish, I will pass the attendance, okay? Mientras termina, le pasaré asistencia. I will pass the attendance while you finish, all right? Um, Aida? Present. Claudia? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Ellen Nielsen? Present, teacher. Elsie? Present, teacher. Irma? I am here. Irving? Present. Javier? I am here, teacher. Mayra? Present. Milton? Rafael? Santos? I am here, teacher. Okay. I am here, teacher. All right, Rafa. I put the attendance. I know you're here. Sara? Present, teacher. Ulises? I am here. Walter? Thanks. Wendy? I am here. Jessica? Present, teacher. Hazel? Uh, Hazel? Present, teacher. Mauricio? Present, teacher. Maho? Present, teacher. And Carla. Present. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, so did everybody finish? Did you finish? Are you ready? Yes, no? Yes, yes. Yes, right, good. It was not so complicated. Okay, listen, I will give you five minutes. In five minutes, you will go in groups and you will ask two classmates about their list and compare with yours, okay? And for this, you will use the following question. Para esto vamos a usar la siguiente pregunta, para preguntarle a sus compañeros, to ask your classmates, okay? So you will ask your classmates this question. What services or amenities do you need for the next trip? Either business or family trip, all right? Ya sea de negocios o de familia, either business or family trip, okay? Let me repeat the question for you. What services or amenities do you need for the next trip? Ahí el for se fue una E de más, okay? For the next trip. Either business or family trip, okay? So, si quieren darle un screenshot a esta pregunta, make a screenshot to this question because this is the question you will use to practice with your classmates. Write it or make a screenshot quickly. Si alguien hace la captura, la manda al grupo de WhatsApp, please. I think Walter is always sending the, the pictures. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So please, let's take about four minutes and practice. You will practice in groups of three. Van a practicar en equipo de tres. You will practice in groups of three, all right? So take turns, toman turnos. Take turns to, to ask and answer the questions, okay? Okay, let's go and practice. Jessica, ¿va a participar en la actividad? Sí, teacher, lo que pasa es que se me salió. Ah, ok. Let me send you. You are in room one. Ok. Ok, teacher. Irving, ¿no va a participar en la actividad? Aida, ¿you won't participate in the activity? Yes, teacher, pero me sacó. Es que el um, internet está malísimo ahorita. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, okay. Eh, te enviaré a otro equipo y luego te regreso a seis, ¿ok? Ok, ok.
or do you need for the for the next trip either business or family trips is family trip okay a uh, checklist yeah gen service brave at buffet swim pool wi-fi internet in under survey okay uh wi-fi internet yeah okay uh le pregunto Le pregunto a usted, yes, dale, dale. What, yes. what service or amenity to you need for the next trip? Or family trip. Uh, I need a Wi-Fi, TV, laundry, and safe. <laughs> yes. <Okay>. The <laughs> house money. <laughs> How much money? <laughs> TV, no. Yeah, <laughs> TV, yeah. He will take. He will take his millions. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to save, so that means he will take the millions he has. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> In the lounge, in the lounge, the, uh, the, the look in the minion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do ¿Cómo ah. que entonces sería? Ajá, para mí sería eso. So. Teacher, saunas, eh, sauna es igual, ¿verdad? Is the same. But you sauna. say sauna, sauna, sauna. Pero se escribe igual, bro. Sauna. Se escribe sauna, but you pronounce it sauna. 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 Okay. Sauna. Sauna. Uh, uh, y un lugar donde como hairdresser, ¿es correcto? Hairdresser. Yeah, hairdresser is okay. Mm -hmm. Es como una peluquería. Yeah. It is, um, what is the difference in hairdresser and barber shop? Hair, hairdresser is mainly for girls. Y barber shop is for men. It's for men, exactly. Okay. Or you can say hair salon in general. Hair salon. Hair salon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hair salon is, I feel, is for both. Here in El Salvador is for both, right? This meeting is being recorded. Okay, um, mm, 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 did you finish? Yes. Did you yes. finish the discussion? Yes. Okay, um, well. Solo esperemos que cargue el, que cargue los demás. No me aparece la imagen. I don't see the picture, their picture, their image. Okay, everyone. Well, um, it's time. It's two, three. It's 10, three already. Okay, uh, just a quick reminder, okay? Uh, for you not to fall behind. Solo un recordatorio para que no nos vayamos retrasando, ¿ok? Tratemos de ir avanzando en la plataforma, como siempre, para que el día viernes estemos listos. Recuerden que para algunos quizá vacación, algunos quieren descansar ya el fin de semana, el día viernes ya quieren dormirse temprano y es comprensible, ¿ok? Pero por favor tratemos de ir haciéndolo de la plataforma con tiempo. Recordar que esta semana tenemos dos cosas que hacer. La sección número cuatro o la unidad número cuatro Y el examen final in the final term, okay? Or the final, yeah, the, you can say the final term, okay? Así que son dos cosas, llevemos las presentes y vayamos trabajando, por favor, con tiempo, okay? ¿De acuerdo? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Well, thank yes. you very yes, much. Then for connecting today, goodbye, good night, and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.
Ok, Ulises, so this space is for you. Este espacio es para ti, así que dudas, quejas. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, okay, si todo, tienes, si todo tienes dudas, todo ok, everything ok. <laughs> no, todo lo contrario, eh, porque he aprendido bastantes términos nuevos con, ref con referencia a los negocios, frases, eh, conceptos que no sabía. Eh, han sido muy muy gratificante este curso pues eh, hay cosas como le digo que no sabía cómo se pronunciaban o qué significaban o cómo tenía que usarlas y sí me ha servido bastante de verdad que sí ok excelente excelente mm, well, um, vamos Um, bueno, me falta practicar lo que es eh, los call, los show, eh, el could y el should, y, y el correcto, good mind. el could y el should, el could, yes. el good y el should, el could, el would y el should, que se parecen, verdad? They sound kind of the same. Mm. My mind, my mind is confused. <laughs> the use. It's normal. Yeah, uh, in the use or in the pronunciation? Ooh. Both. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want the explanation in Spanish or in English. In Spanish. Okay, you can choose here. Okay, muy bien. Sí, básicamente en, en el, quizás en el could, all right, en el could, el propósito que tiene esta pregunta, eh, esta palabra que es un verbo modal por cierto es darle forma a la oración y hacer una pregunta de forma educada o una pregunta de forma cortés ok a través de decir could you ok y después del could you o could they o could no sé qué pronombre puede ser ok could I después de eso vamos a usar un verbo ok en este caso estábamos usando could you específicamente could you because it's to, to request es para pedir a, eh, para hacer un, una solicitud a alguien ok Uh, could you, for example, could you tell me your name? Podría decirme tu nombre. Could you, y luego el verbo que sería tell. Y luego un complemento si es necesario. Could you tell me your name? Okay. Podría decirme tu nombre, podría darme tu nombre. Yeah. En, Or could you estos, call, sorry? En estos tres, eh, siempre el verbo lo ocupamos en su forma normal. Vaya, en el vamos. Cubo, en el en el should de igual manera se ocupa de forma formal, de, de, de manera formal, perdón. Solo que el should is to make suggestions, es para hacer sugerencias. Aquí ya no es pregunta que estoy haciendo, no es una solicitud, ¿ok? Estoy dando una sugerencia, I'm giving a suggestion, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, veíamos las situaciones, ¿verdad? Imagínate que, que, que tu jefe lo regaña demasiado, no sé. I'm just giving you examples, ¿ok? Uh, ¿Qué le podemos recomendar? Ah, he should talk to us more often. He should see what's happening, all right? Él debería ver qué está pasando. He should see what's happening, or mm -hmm. He should take it easy. Debería relajarse. He should take it easy. Oh, son sugerencias, ¿verdad? Suggestions. Y decimos el should, ¿ok? He should or you should, ¿ok? Yeah. Y luego el verbo va normal. He should take, es el verbo, take it easy. He should take it easy. ¿Ok? Y luego en el okay. would you mind, en el would lo estamos usando con mind en este contenido que estudiamos. Would you mind, ok? Y ese would you mind quiere decir te molestaría o te importaría hacer algo, ok? Después del mind dijimos que el verbo sí, sí no iba a ir en su forma original, sino que iba a ir con ing. For example, would you mind opening the door? Siempre es para hacer una solicitud igual que el could. Pero aquí vamos a usar ing en el verbo, ¿ok? Would you mind opening? Y dice que dice, I don't say open, I say opening. Would you mind opening the door, please? Or would you mind calling my boss? All right, ¿te molestaría llamar a mi jefe? Would you mind visiting the new clients? ¿Te molestaría visitar a los nuevos clientes? You say visiting with ing, ¿ok? Con ing, ¿de acuerdo? Siempre que usamos el would you okay. mind, el verbo que le sigue va con ing. Ok, sí tengo que practicar 
parte de eso porque se me tiende a confundir bastante. Ya. Yeah. It's about practice. Se trata de practicar. It's about practice. Sí. Uh -huh. Bastante, cara. Sí, pero ahorita sí ya lo tienes un tiempo. poquito claro, ¿verdad? Ya lo tienes un poquito sí, más claro. Sí, bastante. Excelente. Bastante. Excelente. Quiero ver qué más voy a preguntarle. Bueno, tengo que repasar y si voy a ser sincero, me cuesta bastante la, la, eh, la construcción de las preguntas en, 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 en simple pass, de la, estru la estructura, la estructura, que tengo que repasar un poquito más. Que, sí, y también para las preguntas de WH. Ok, en presente, las que vimos. Sí, lo, lo, que, lo sí. que debemos tomar en cuenta en las dos estructuras es en, la, en, la, en, la, en los dos tiempos, en el presente, porque ahí es el presente y el pasado que estudiamos, ¿okay? con la WH y con el pasado uh -huh. con 10. Lo que hay que tomar en cuenta es que en cada uno de, de, de estos tiempos hay un verbo auxiliar. En el presente es el do o el das y uh -huh. en el pasado es el did. ¿okay? Tomar en cuenta de que si vamos a hacer una pregunta cerrada o una just no question, como se dice en inglés, va el do, el did o el das primero. Ok, siguiendo la fórmula, luego va el sujeto, luego va el verbo y complemento. Si voy a usar una palabra con WH, una information question, primero va la palabra con WH, luego el, el auxiliary, el auxiliar, que puede ser did, does or do, luego el sujeto, verbo, complemento, la misma estructura. Solo que dijimos que cuando usamos el what o el which, puede ir... O a veces sí, mayormente va un, va un sustantivo ajá, a la par. Por ejemplo, what department? Ajá, what department or which company? ¿Ok? Antes de poner el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, solamente para las eh, preguntas cerradas, primero tendría el auxiliar. Empiezo con el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, do you like, cuando digo ya saliéndose del contexto, digamos, de negocios, do you like chicken? Uso el auxiliar do. Do you. Do you like chicken? O el does, no. que el does se usa para he, she, it, para tercera persona, ¿ok? Does she like chicken? O does he like chicken? O does uh, Ulysses like chicken? Does Mayra like chicken? O does the dog like chicken? The dog porque es singular también, como el it, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Ok, me parece. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sí. Eso es el... Es la parte más, eh, como, no complicada, sino un poco más confusa que tenía. De los, quiero ver. Sí, de ahí las pronunciaciones que hay que repasar. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, ahí, ahí pueden practicar. Ahí tienen, sí. mayormente en las de conversaciones, los... ahí tienen lo, el, el video siempre, ¿verdad? Para que lo puedan ir uh -huh. a revisar. Correcto. Al menos la pronunciación de la conversación, pueden repetirla cuantas veces quieran. Uh -huh. Sí, eso es, quiero ver, yo creo que eso sería todo, teacher, de okay. lo que tenía las dudas. Excelente. Si sale otra cosa. En las dudas. Ok, si sí. sale otra cosa, con confianza puede escribirme al WhatsApp, si tienes alguna otra duda, ok. Ok. Uh 